Have we ever given thought to how the benefits intended for the most backward communities are distributed? This question brings us to the heart of an age-old issue in Telangana. Here, the Madiga community, comprising half of the scheduled caste population, has been grappling with the challenge of equitable distribution for decades. Despite their large numbers, they believe they are sidelined when it comes to accessing government benefits, including reservation. The reason? The dominance of the Mala community, another scheduled caste, that is considered relatively more advanced. This imbalance has led to a deep sense of marginalization among the Madigas, who have been voicing their concerns and fighting for their rights for years on end. This issue has been a pressing matter for decades, demanding a solution that ensures fairness and equity. Can the law provide a solution to this long-standing issue? It's a question that's been asked time and again. According to the erstwhile Attorney General of India, the answer is a resounding yes. He proposed that the sub-categorization of scheduled castes is not only possible, but could be actualized through an amendment to the Constitution. Now this isn't a simple task. Amending the Constitution, the very cornerstone of our nation's legal and political system, is a significant undertaking. There's a meticulous process to be followed, involving multiple readings, discussions and voting in both Houses of Parliament. There's also the potential for legal challenges. Critics might argue that such an amendment could infringe upon the principle of equality enshrined in our Constitution. But proponents of this solution argue that it's a necessary step towards achieving true equality. In a country as diverse as ours, treating different groups with blanket sameness might not always result in fair outcomes. Thus, a legal solution could be the key to ensuring equal distribution of benefits, but it's not without its challenges. How is the union government addressing this issue? You may wonder. Well, they've taken a proactive approach to tackle this long-standing problem. The union government has formed a high-level committee of secretaries. Now this isn't just any committee, it's a dedicated team that's been given a very specific task, to evaluate and work out a method for the equitable distribution of benefits to the most backward communities among the over 1,200 scheduled castes. Let's break down what this committee will do. They're not just going to be sitting in a room shuffling papers. No, they're going to be actively evaluating. They'll be looking at the communities that are most in need, that have been left behind, that haven't been able to access the benefits they're entitled to. Then, they'll be developing a method. This isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. They're going to have to create a tailored approach, a strategy that ensures the benefits are distributed equitably, that they reach the people who need them the most. This isn't a small task, it's a monumental challenge, but it's one that the committee is ready to take on. They're going to be working tirelessly to ensure that the most vulnerable, the most backward communities among the over 1200 scheduled castes, get their fair share of the benefits. The formation of this committee is a significant step towards resolving this issue. It signifies the government's commitment to ensuring that the most vulnerable communities receive their fair share of benefits.